<laughs> anyway. <laughs> Hey, are you going to introduce your project, kitchen project? Yeah. It was planned about four weeks project and then it turned into two months project. Yeah, well, you know, uh, <laughs> things take time, right? And then we had some problems along the way that we had to fix and that's, that's how projects are. As you can see, we've uh, finished the kitchen project. Uh, we actually finished it a couple of months ago, but we, we were taking a break from shooting. Uh, so now it's January almost the middle of January and we're, we're back at it and you can see the kitchen is finished uh, you see the color selection this was Regine's color selection and she wanted the butcher block countertops so I, I gave her the, the cabinets and the colors that she wanted and then uh, Regine picked the backsplash so Regine wanted a, a double oven so that she could uh, be able to roast something and bake something at the same time so we, we got a nice well-mounted double oven here for her to, to do all her, her baking and roasting in. So we had to find a, a place for the refrigerator. So across from the double oven, we put the refrigerator and we closed that in uh, with some cabinetry and put a nice deep cabinet over top of it to, to hide all the seasonal items. She wanted a nice workspace here facing the living room. And this was a wall. Uh, so what I did for her was I, I built her kind of an island top here, uh, extra deep, it's 30 inches deep. And then uh, I built up a little bar top here over top of that. So this gives us space for the electrical outlets to run things like mixers, uh, rice cooker, and any appliances that you need. It also gave us a place to put our light switch. And then put the bar top on top of that, up to the living room, gives us a nice backsplash, backstop for any items that she's working on so it doesn't roll over the wall and uh, makes a nice place for the kids to hang out on the other side. So I made this piece here out of the cutouts for the sink and the cooktop and that uh, putting them together sideways made a nice long piece here and then did a nice curve on it. Let's get a shot of that curve, honey. <laughs> See that? It's a nice radius on there. It makes it a, a nice a nice piece that gives us some some distance here without sticking out too much into the into the walkway space on both ends. We made this and and, and then I cut cut it out nicely to fit around the wall. So so this opening in the wall wasn't here. Um, I had to I made this opening in the wall, cut through the wall board, cut out the studs top and bottom, and then put reinforcing back in around top and bottom, and then put some finished trim in so that the, the trim on the, this opening matches all the door openings in the house. Mm -hmm. So it looks exactly the same, it looks like it belongs there. Mm -hmm. Looks very original. Looks very original, it looks, it looks like it was meant to be there, so... Honey, look at the corner, come on! What corner? In the corner of the counter. Oh, the way, the way I finished the edges and, and radius the corners. Yeah, very yeah, it's, smooth. It's, it's, all, it's all standard woodworking. Yeah, I know. I, I, I have a router and a sander and it... Uh, you can clean things up very nicely. It's very easy with wood countertops to, to cut it the way you want. I, again, we did all of this ourselves. We didn't hire anybody to do it. Yeah. Again, cut, I cut all these pieces so they would fit together and then assemble them together. Uh, you don't see any fasteners here. The, mm -hmm. the, the actual bottom piece is attached up through this and into the top plate. Yeah. Uh, I, I set in some, uh, some screw anchors into here and, and drilled up through and put bolts through it so it's secure. So all the cabinetry, uh, we purchased it from cabinet.com, so we give them a little credit. Uh, we like the quality of the cabinets, uh, the, the construction is all very good, it's all plywood, no particle board, uh, solid wood faces and, and uh, frames for the doors, uh, all the, the hinges are soft close, and as well as the, the drawers, the drawers are all build bearing soft close, so it's all, all very nice construction. Uh, we went with drawer bases in a lot of places so we have more flexibility and access to the things that are inside. We spent the money we were saving on labor and spent it on upgrades to the things that we were buying, uh, such as the double oven, the GE double oven, uh, the GE profile dishwasher, uh, the extra large stainless steel sink. Huge. It's huge. This is a Ruvati sink. Uh, the corners are very square, which 
as Regine will tell you, is both good and bad. <laughs> so it, it creates a lot of space inside the sink, especially at the bottom. You can, you can have a lot of things in there and, and have room for all your large pans, uh, but it's more difficult to clean, right? Because you have yeah. to get in there and clean the corners on it. You can't just easily wipe around. Yeah. Uh, this particular sink has a, a step in it so that you can put a cutting board right over top of the, the sink itself for something that you're cutting can run off into the sink and you don't have to worry about it. You can rinse it off right directly on the cutting board and it all runs into the sink. I just washed the sink. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you can see, because again, we did the butcher block countertop, that when I installed this sink, normally this is a, this is a top mount sink and it would be sitting above the profile of your countertop uh, by about uh, eight or nine millimeters. A uh, quarter inch, and so instead of letting it, instead of having it sit on top of the countertop, I, I actually routed out around where the sink goes and sunk the sink into the countertop, and then filled that gap with epoxy, uh, so that you'd have a, a nice flat surface and sweep things right off the counter into the sink. So, and then in the, the base cabinets, we we wanted to use as much space as possible, so that wherever we we had a space to put a cabinet, we would put one. So here we have a a tall narrow cabinet for the cutting boards and then over here in the corner we went with a, a lazy <laughs> Susan. It's a lot of stuff in there. Right so that we could have access to, to all of this space in the corner and be able to use that easily. Mm -hmm. uh, again another expensive cabinet but uh, well worth it for us because it gives more storage space. Mm -hmm. The cooktop we recycled from uh, the other kitchen because we had replaced it already. And uh, this is a Kenmore Elite cooktop with a turbo boil flex burner in it. And so it has actually the two big burners up front and the three small burners in the back, uh, which is nice because most of what Regine is cooking, uh, she wants to cook from the front. And, and this is a super powerful element right here that she can use for stir frying. And so then over top of the, the cooktop, because you know, we need the good ventilation, we, uh, we purchased this uh, Fotile range hood that has, uh, you can see, a, a mechanized opening door that opens when you want to, to start cooking. It has uh, nice bright lights in it, and it also has the, the ventilation that pulls all of the fumes from the, the cooktop up through this area here. Uh, and any of the, uh, the fumes, the, the liquids, the water, the, the oils that go up through here and get trapped in here will drain down into these trays at the bottom and collect the, the oils here so that you can so you can clean so you can clean them off I'm not gonna die, uh, so you can clean them off easily in a dishwasher. Mm -hmm. It has three speeds and is ducted directly out through the roof. How much do we pay for this? So this this range by itself was over say one thousand five hundred dollars? No, it was $1,600. Yeah, okay, over $1,500. It was $1,600 mm -hmm. uh, plus tax. Mm -hmm. Well, but for us, we cook a lot, a lot of stir frying. Right. We need to use a very good uh, fan. We're doing all of this work ourselves. We saved a lot of money in the labor, so we spent mm -hmm. that money on upgrades, such as a $1,600 mm -hmm. range hood. It's nice. So again, we've got upper cabinets all around the range hood and over the microwave. We put the microwave up on the shelf here in, on, in the wall cabinets as opposed to having it on the countertop to be able to have more counter space uh, for other items. Uh, you know, we use a, a rice cooker all the time, so the rice cooker is usually out. And if, if we have the, the microwave down on the, the countertop and the rice cooker on the countertop, it starts to get cluttered. So having the microwave up here makes it a little easier for us. A little more flexible with the space. Uh, again, we have more, more drawers here at the bottom. Drawers, drawers, drawers. Keep all the, the things for cooking. Pots and pans under the, the cooktop. Cabinets in the corner uh, for corner space. Cabinets here for all the Dad. baking supplies. Dad. I was just showing off our new kitchen. Would you like to say anything about the kitchen? Yes. Yeah. I watched you build it. You watched me build it, yeah. You helped me a little bit, didn't you? You put the tile on. 
You put everything on. You put all the new cabinets and the new drawers. Yeah. And the new microwave. Mm -hmm. We spent a lot of time looking at different backsplash ideas and uh, brought home probably half a dozen different types of tile and, and you know to see if they would look right with uh, the, the countertop and the cabinets and, and we just couldn't find anything and then Regine was uh, in the tile store and she, she stumbled upon this, uh, this marble tile. Uh, it is a, a real marble. It's called uh, Sahara Carrera Marble. And she, she looked at all the, the different pieces that were there and she said, this, is, this looks really pretty. I'd like to have this as my backsplash. So I, I pulled all the pieces out of the box and laid them out and, and figured out an arrangement for them with the patterns and the tiles to try to make it look like it had a nice flow. And we mounted this uh, tile to the, the backsplash here and, and grouted it. And Hello. So, so give me, <laughs> go, go to your room, give me five minutes. Five minutes, dude. Two minutes, give me two minutes to wrap this up. Yeah, so we got all the backsplash done. <laughs> That's why it's hard for us to film yeah. video with the kids at home. Yeah, always, you get five minutes of quiet time and then here they are, in the shot. And Yay! You like our new kitchen? Yeah! What do you like about it? It's blue! And it got a double oven! Yeah, and a new thing! Yeah! And the wood is so, so nice. Hunter, what do you like about the new kitchen? Yeah. Hunter, what, what's your favorite part about the new kitchen? And there's a new cup top. It's good? It's the best kitchen I ever had. It's the best kitchen you ever had? Yes. All right, nice. Here we go. Mm. Okay. And High five. So now the kitchen's finished, uh, we'll be able to shoot more video of uh, cooking and preparing the, the vegetables. So you'll get more of the two table part of the garden to table. So look forward to that and we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.